Hey you guys, this is Ananus with Ananus Gaming back in our solo let's play survival of space engineers and I'm noticing something. Suddenly uh our container is incomplete. What the heck happened here? What the heck happened? Oh, it needs computers, motors, displays, and interior plates. What the heck? Alright, let's see. Ooh. Computers, motors, displays, and interior plates. Um, computers, motors, displays, and interior plates. I'm not sure what happened here. Do I not have... What the... Why did that not... Oh, because I put it in the connector. Okay. That's weird. Alright, what the heck? Seems like they have changed something. Yes, they have changed something. They have changed a lot of things. They have changed... Hey, what's up, mining carriage? We need to figure out what we want to do with him. Anyways, uh, how have you guys been? As far as I can tell... What am I... Whoops, pressing the wrong button here. Alright, um... As far as I can tell, he's okay sitting up there right now. So, let's go down and check out the, the base down here. We were kind of fleshing this out a bit. I think this looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? I think that may be too small. And that's a 4x4, four four, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, it is. So... make it a 4x4 a four four instead of like that. Okay, so what I think we were going to do here is we were going to put a door here straight back from that one, right? Yeah. Alright. I still haven't figured out how we're going to tie this in because it's like right in the center, you know? Um. Oh. Well, here's an idea. We could actually put like a square around it, you know what I mean? Not like a square square, but you know, a good looking square. And then come back and then go down around with some pipes. That could work. Sure. Let's see. We'll get some of this stuff welded up, see what it looks like. In the next episode or two, uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna try to... Well, I'm thinking about it now. I'm not sure what I should do with that mining carriage. Um, I mean, obviously, I should do something with it. And I don't want to just tear it apart completely. Why is that missing? Okay. I've been noticing some weird things, like blocks missing, damage being taken randomly for no reason at all. You know, just really strange things lately. Really strange. Not like that guy across the street that stares out his window all the night and day, but... But strange nonetheless. That was supposed to be funny. It just kind of came out weird. Anyways. Alright, so... This is gonna turn out to be one heck of a base. I know a lot of you are probably saying, why don't you make a welding ship? And it's because it's not worth it. Not right now. Oh, uh, oh, uh, world save. No, something loaded it. What was 
was that? Put it in. Anyways, I don't know if you guys had noticed, um, I started a couple new series. Um, I was looking for some feedback on my Stranded Deep test series to see if you guys want me to do a Stranded Deep Let's Play. Um, I only did four episodes of Stranded Deep in that sort of a test, so you guys can see what it looks like in case you don't know what game it is. And, you know, basically I'm hoping that you guys will let me know if you like the idea, if you want me to do more. And, I mean, it's kind of an enjoyable game. Um, however, I feel I do feel like it's kind of limited, but uh, they upgrade it every once in a while. Not as much as uh, like I've been looking at other possible games to have series, have series of, and um, like I've noticed Subnautica. I think it's a little toony, but um, I don't know. If you guys are interested in it, then I would be more than happy to do a let's play of Subnautica. But um, I was giving Stranded Deep a try because it's more, you know, more realistic to me. But um, also, you can look forward to a Let's Play series of Seven Days to Die. I am going to be um, starting that soon. Um, I appreciate your input on that. I am a complete another noob. It's Seven Days to Die, but it's—I mean—it's an entertaining game. I, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard when you're it, when you're new. So. Oh, I ran out of steel plates. Whoops. So I guess this is really just a welding and conversation episode, but, um, yeah. If you guys have any ideas for games that you want me to do Let's Plays of, let me know. And I'll happily, happily do, or I'll happy, happily consider them. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's what was loading in that was causing all that grief. Cause all that delay. Anyways, um, yeah, because I, you know, I'm looking to fill out the schedule, uh, and I want to provide con enjoyable content to you guys. I know you guys are are uh, like to be in, or you like to be entertained. So <laughs> I'm really looking to entertain you guys more. Um, I hope you'll enjoy the Seven Days to Die series. I played it um, over and over again until I got the basics down. Um, but not anything really advanced. Like, I don't even know how to make a forage, really. Uh, I mean, I could look up the recipe and all that stuff, but, you know, it's, uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, I could yeah, make food and stuff, but some food, not all food. It's just the uh, advanced mechanics of the game escape me so far. So I'll be really relying on you guys for your input and your help if you can. Otherwise, we'll just, uh, I'll just play along and you guys will quietly come along for the ride if you want. That's alright. Wow, this is really looking like a base. <laughs> That's really looking good to me. I think we did a good job here. I don't know if you guys checked out my channel update, my last channel update, but um... I didn't add music to it. Um, I probably should have, but I did a lot of cutting and edit, cutting, cutting, um, cutting and editing. Um, yeah, it's a new word. I invented it. Cutting. <laughs> it's when you cut and edit something. But um, uh, I need to get it. Um, I did a lot of cutting and editing, um, and tried to uh, sound more. Um, sound happier, <laughs> and because you know, uh, most of my let's plays I do, I'm very chill. I'm laid back, and I sit here and I talk slowly and quietly, and you know. But uh, I figured you would want more enthusiasm, so I was more enthusiastic, or at least I tried to be. I don't know if it came off that way, but uh, did they? Something's changed because uh, do you guys remember seeing all those asteroids? <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's a lot more asteroids around, doesn't it? It seems like, is did things get closer? Is our universe collapsing? Or is it getting smaller? 
I feel so clustered. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks like all those asteroids look way closer now. Jeez, I hope they don't have some end game scenario. They're like, we're we're abandoning the game, and then everything's like <laughs> the universe, all the all our maps collapse in on themselves. That would totally freak me out. <laughs> I'd have space game issues for the rest of my life. I'd be like, no, what if it collapses on us? No. Alright, so anyways, um, yeah, we've been making a lot of progress in, uh, excuse me, um, I've been making a lot of progress in my solo, uh, Imperion Collective Survival Let's Play, and we've been making some progress in the multiplayer. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was doing a multiplayer, uh, I'm doing a multiplayer Let's Play with Sarko's Gamers. Um, if you look at my partner channels on the right side of my YouTube page, uh, you can see them, see a link to them, and go check them out. Um, I'm so sorry, at Sarkos Gamers is a partner of mine, so we do a lot of work together. And, uh, um, no homo, um, I didn't mean partner like that, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, we're business partners, YouTube partners. Our channels are partnered. And, um, we're really look, we're both working on bringing more enjoyable content to you guys. So yeah, you guys can go take a look at him and see what he looks like, and uh, watch some of his videos. Subscribe to his channel if you're into it. I'm having problems getting my own subscribers actually. So I only have 27 subscribers right now. 27's not bad though. That's yeah, not that bad. I mean, it's better than zero, right? Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I, you know, the funny thing is I have 27 subscribers, and I have insane, like an insane amount of watch time on my videos. I mean, into the thousands. Like, um, if every one of my subscribers, if, I, if you divide up my watch time, or my views, excuse me, with my subscriber, or if you try to subscribe my view, if you divide my views by the number of subscribers I have, I English well, um, that would mean that people would have watched 30 or more videos each, which sounds really cool. Um, that either means that people who are watching my channel are thoroughly enjoying them themselves and watching my videos, or it means that. Uh, or it means that people are just coming to my page and wandering off. But, um, I, w I would love to turn them into subscribers. And, uh, I'm not sure how to tell whether they are, they are genuine viewers, or if they've just been linked, or, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure how to figure that all out. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube, I'm just trying to make things look professional, nice, and entertaining for you guys so uh you know or in profession or i already said profession but uh yeah so if you have any advice about that that would be great i also announced in my channel update that we'll be doing giveaways um once we get over a certain number of subscribers anybody who comments on my videos see what i'm doing here I'm trying to get you to comment <laughs> anybody who comments on my videos um, during a giveaway period will be automatically entered into that giveaway and they will uh, possibly I'll send them like if they get if they win I'll send them a YouTube message for their steam ID or whatever and um, uh, then I will probably uh, you know, like Steam does the, ser the, the, the serials or whatever that, that you can send other people. And then I'll just uh, gift them whatever that they won or something like that. But um, uh, we're not doing any giveaways right now. But I'd still like comments. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's not enough people yet. So this is coming together. I'm starting to really like the way this looks. I'm gonna have to tear apart the uh, hangar doors, though, to put in uh, or the uh, those openings for the hangar doors, so I can put the hangar doors in there. But that's okay. 
because I'm gonna put them inside the inside the, the floor and the ceiling I think I don't know I don't want them to look horrible so 